What's up guys, Shark Gaming here back with another PES Mobile video and today I'll be talking about the featured players that are coming Sunday or Monday update depending on your area code, um, time zone. So, the first one is Juventus, the next one is Napoli. It makes sense because they played the finals against each other two days ago and Napoli won on penalties I think 4-2 or 4-1. But like, I'm not really intrigued about the pack because it's it's really really broken again because you have two 100 rated players which are christian ronaldo and um matthew delete i mean delete is a good player don't get me wrong but i just don't think that he deserves all this hype that he's getting around but i would more than you know most definitely take this player he's a build-up player and you know that's one of the most common defenders so at the same time i don't really need him because, okay, cool, let's look at his stats. His defensive awareness is 99, his ball win is 99. I've always known physical contact and his jump is 99. His heading is 97. So, yes, he's very solid in defense. And he's going to win most, if not all, of the headers and everything. And his interceptions are really, really good. But at the same time, it's just like taking all the fun away from the game. Because I don't even know how to explain it, really. But it's like we don't really need this card. But I guess I'll open the pack either once or twice. It's not really that serious. So that's basically all about this player that I'm going to talk about. Because we all know that he's OP and that he makes some very good... Like, you know, as a build-up player, he has to have good stats in terms of passing forward. So he can distribute the ball properly. Um, I guess we can go up the line now. So we're going to talk about Paulo Dybala. I mean, we already got a similar card to this free version, so I'm not really this hyped about it. It's a very good card. I'm yet to really test it out in its full effect because I haven't maxed out the card as yet. But, I mean, in terms of attacking, he's very, very good. And his player skills and his playing style, everything is just good. So, I mean, if you're looking for a second striker, like let's say you missed out on um, not getting any of the iconic moment players and you don't have a second striker on your side, then the baller is the perfect second striker. He has a lot of good capabilities. The only problem is that his physical contact, his jump and his header is, you know, very low, as you can see right here. But at the same time, it's understandable because he's not a very tall person. So at the end of the day, he can still win heading or he can still win headers. It's just that. It's the timing of the headers. But yeah, he has gamesmanship and he has penalty specialist and he has the through passing. So he has everything that you need in a second striker. He maxes at 97. If we're going to go on now, Danilo, offensive um, wing back. I mean, he's decent, but like, I, I don't really need him. So if you guys are looking for a right back, then you guys can always take him. But he's not really that good. He has pinpoint crossing. So, I mean, his stats are pretty decent. So you can always use him. As I said, I'm not really this intrigued about the pack. So it's not like, oh, I'm going in there looking for 100 Christy or 100 um, Delete or whatever. Certain players in this pack, I just wouldn't want. Like, the baller seen that I already have him. I wouldn't want Danilo. I already have too many right backs. I uh, wouldn't want Chesney. I already have him. But he's just not my type of keeper. To me, he's not really that good. Like, he's he has some very good traits like the high punt and the low trajectory um throw and stuff like that. But... Uh, I just don't think that he's that good of a keeper. Like, his 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 stats right now will tell you, oh, GK awareness 99, goalkeeper catching 98, goalkeeper clearing 99 and all of that. But he'll still get scored on some easy goals in the match. So, at the end of the day, I'll still prefer my, my Thursday again or my Navas or my, my, my Oblak. So, yes, he max at 94 and everything looks nice and dandy. But I don't really want him. He's not really that good of a keeper in the game for me. Quadrado is one player that I definitely don't want. Uh, he maxes at 94 and he can play both wings, meaning that like he's a right mid forward, but he can play right mid. I'm right wing and left wing. He can play left mid forward as well. He can also be. He can play all over the place. He's very um, versatile, but I just don't need this player. Like there is just no way that I'm going to use this player. And if I get him, I'm not. Don't <laughs> please don't even ask me to like make a player review. I will not. I just don't really think that he's very useful. Like, sure, you know, if you're just starting out and you need a right mid forward, yeah, you can use Quadrado, but he just has like, okay, he has pinpoint crossing. But it's like they're just putting pinpoint crossing on everybody in the game and then they're not showing it in the actual game because majority of the time when you try to cross it, it it's not even that successful and it pisses me off sometimes. So, yeah, that's that on that. 
Ramsey, he's a whole player, so you know that he's gonna make some runs. Ramsey's a decent player. I actually, Ramsey and Rabio are actually two players that I just didn't expect to be that good because I've never actually used them before. But when I actually use them, because I got them in the last featured pack, they're pretty decent and they can alternate between um center mid and attacking mid and defensive mid. So I actually learned to appreciate them more. Like he has gamesmanship, he has outside curler, he has weighted pass. So he's pretty useful. As I said, he's not my first choice center mid, but he's versatile in the fact that I can play him in different positions and know that, you know, he won't disappoint me. He does what he needs to do, but it's not like I'm expecting any spectacular performances. So Ramsey is definitely not that bad of a player. So I'm grateful for that. As I said, he maxes out at 95. You guys can all see stats right here. His stats are, most of them are green, so they're pretty good. His heading is not all that good, but I mean, it's not like you're going to use him in set pieces anyway. He's just there, you know. He's just there. But he's a whole player, so he's going to, like, what he does is that he lures out the defense or lures out most of the players to create space for your other players. So he has, he serves his purpose. I'm a bit confused because I'm here looking and I don't see Rabio. I don't know why they don't have Rabio here. But hey, we have Pianic right here. He's a defensive mid, but he's an orchestrator. Um, To me, if you're a defensive mid and you're an orchestrator or a box-to-box -box or whatever, but you don't have um the interception skill, he does. But you see, if you have a defensive mid and he doesn't have the interception skill, he is pretty useless in defensive mid. It's better just to use him in center mid. So the problem that I have with him is that he'll more than likely go up a bit further than he's supposed to versus a destroyer like um patrick vera that would you know stay behind and act as like a last wall of um, midfielders sometimes even lower than um the defenders itself because you know you have certain um defenders like the extra frontman like ramos who would advance forward yeah or even sometimes varan you have those players who would advance forward that's when the defensive mid goes a bit back but I mean, he's pretty decent. His place kicking is 99. His curl is really, really good. He's short, so you shouldn't expect heading or whatever. But his finishing is rather poor. Ball control and everything is good. His offensive awareness is 75. So I guess he's better defensively than he is um, going forward. But he, he has the through pass in trait and the weighted pass. So you can use that to your, advantage, uh, to your advantage. You just have to time the pass and everything. So back to Cristiano Ronaldo now. He's... Apparently, he's 100 rated at left wing forward, but he's 101 at center forward. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty damn OP. But at the same time, why would I put a prolific winger in center forward? And he plays, you know, to his best of his ability. It doesn't make any sense. But I think that some of these stats should change, meaning that some of his attacking stats should decrease. And don't get me wrong, Christian Ronaldo is my favorite player. But if Pes or if Konami should be doing this fair, Christian Ronaldo stats should go down the um um offensively and increase defensively because with the new Sari ball that he's playing, um his he has to do a lot of defending and a lot of passing. So I feel like his passing stats should go up, his finishing stats and everything should go down, and his defending stats should go up. Like he's basically a let's say a, an attacking mid or a center mid that can go forward. Because if you watch Juventus's um most recent games, yeah. It's very hard, but yo, yeah, if you guys get him, then he'll be the real, he'll be the, the right player for you guys. So I hope that everybody who wants him gets him. He has a lot of skills and everything. He's Cristiano Ronaldo for crying out loud. He's like the complete forward. So there's not really much to say about him because, you know, it's all green lights for me. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter if I get him or not. So here we have Napoli. Let's go from top to bottom. We have Ospina, an offensive goalkeeper. I'm not even going to lie to you guys and tell him, tell you guys that he's good or bad or whatever. I've never tested him out before. I'm just going based off of stats right here. Uh, his stats don't look all that bad compared to Chesney, where Chesney has mostly 99s and a 198. I would say that Chesney is better. Um, he does not have any skills. Uh, uh, oh yes he has the low punt so that's okay that's the same skill as Chesney so 
I guess he's a decent keeper based on stats. So, I mean, if you're looking for a keeper, which most of us aren't, then I guess he's your guy. Um, Manolos, he's a very good centre-back. And I like the variation because he's an extra front man. So, if you guys don't have Ramos, then you guys can always use Manolos because he's very, very good and his form is like 6. You can also use him on right back. His speed is 91 and his acceleration is 87. So, you know, he can be used as a wing back as well. And he can be used going forward. His defensive awareness is 96 and his ball win is 97. So, you can just, and he has the interception player skills. So, you can just imagine right now, seeing that he has the heading and the man marking, you can use him in set plays and you can expect, you can expect that he'll win the aerial duels and everything. So, as it relates to this, I'm green light for this guy as well. Uh, acrobatic clearance, captain C fighting spirit. Yeah, I'm green light for him as a defender, and I like the variation. I hate seeing build up players. Every single defender wants to be a build up player. Come on, guys, let's be destroyers or something. So now we have Alan, box to box center mid forward. Max is at 94. Uh, can play other um positions like right back and defensive mid. So I mean, he's not that bad. Uh, I would expect him to have a bit more player skills but he has interception and man marking and super sub so i guess that you just put him on when players are tired uh, i don't see any um weighted passes or true passes or anything so i don't even think that i actually want to use him as a defense uh, as a center mid or like anything on the flanks i think i'd probably use him as a defensive mid seeing that he has 93 defensive awareness so I guess that's where I'd use him because he's not really that good going forward based on his skills. His stats say otherwise, but we all know Pess. All right, Lorenzo Insigne, you know, that's like, this is a green light for me. I don't even have to look at the stats. He's just a green light. He can play multiple positions, anything forward, basically. Like, he's really, really good. He's, his attacking stats are really, really good. He's also a super sub and he has pinpoint crossing. So after the 68 minutes, you can always sub him on for Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's say you get both players. Cristiano Ronaldo is tired or he hasn't been performing as well you want to. Sub on in Sydney and he played just as good because super sub trait plus these stats, awesome. I feel like he's definitely uh, a, green, a green light in my opinion. And he has the through passing and he has the trap back. Even though his defensive... um attributes aren't that good he's still good going back so yo rate that so here we have milik center forward target man i'm loving that i'm not really seeing this is more of a variation so i'd already give it a green light as long as the stats are decent because usually you'd see um strikers who are just poachers or strikers who are you know yeah so fox in the box and those kind of stuff yeah that's good and all but every striker can't be that you want other strikers that offer other things in life so you see with this target man you can always use him in like a fernando santos formation where uh, you have a poacher beside him or a fox in the box player beside him because this guy now is the one that controls the play and lays it off or decides to take the shot and he has the heading ability and everything max is up at 96 so i first time shots that is the turn and shoot or the one time volley. They work really, really well with this guy. I think that this is a green light in my opinion because 83 curl really isn't that bad. The lofted pass is probably the only thing that I have a problem with. But at the same time, the striker is going to be like right beside him or a bit in front of him. So you don't really need the low. You don't really need lofted pass for that. You can just use the low passes. Uh, the only problem that I have is probably his dribbling and his tight position. But his ball control is 90, so I'm not going to knock him before I try him. So, now we have um, Koulibaly. This is one of the best defenders in the game. And seeing that he offers more variation, this is a destroyer. So, I'm glad that there's another destroyer in the pack. This is already a green light for me because I've tested him with his base card and other featured cards. So, I don't really need much to say, but he's very good attacking wise and he's very good in set piece because he has 93 heading and he has the heading trait so if you're looking for a defender that can um get those last minute tackles in properly he's definitely a player i don't really need to say much about him because you guys already know the sweeps um fabian R louise is an orchestrator i mean i don't really like like him as a player but if you get him at least he has like 
issue with Alan, how he didn't he barely had any skills going forward. This guy has gamesmanship and through passing, one touch pass and all those things. So I think that he'd be a better um get than um Alan. But the thing is Alan had more than likely play in defensive mid. This guy had play in center mid like his original position. So all of his stats look really, really good. Finishing is 88, so I can't really complain. And he's very good defensively as well. But all we need is 88. So if you get him, I mean, he can be a sub. He's obviously not going to be a starting player, but he can be a sub. And last but not least, G. Di Lorenzo. That's a fullback finisher. This is a first for me. I, I've never actually seen a player with this trait, or at least I've never actually inspected it. So... I feel that this is very like this is a very good variation. I would actually take him just to test him out. So if I get him, it really wouldn't be that bad. The only problem that I have is that he doesn't have any skills. So originally he probably won't be that OP of a player, but after I use my player skills on him, I'll probably, you know, see what I can get out of him. But his stats aren't really that good, but he's fast. His passing stats are in the 80s, and his defensive stats are green, and his jump is 92. His heading is 81, and he maxes at 94. So, I mean, and his stamina is 96. So, I mean, he can still serve a purpose, meaning that I expect that his crosses are going to be good and his runs are going to be good because he's fast. So, I'm not really going to knock it until I try it. So, if I get him, I'll review him with the skills. No, without the skills, and then I'll review him with the skills and tell you guys how that goes so yeah guys those are just my reviews on the players that are in the packs coming i'm not really sure if you guys want to buy the pack but if you guys are going to buy the pack that, those are the reasons why 